Hey everybody, Marsh here. How are we doing today? Today we are playing Dredge. Um, recently this game has become popular and I can understand why. I can understand the hype. It's actually, from everything I've seen so far and I've read, it's actually a pretty unsettling and creepy kind of game. So, we're gonna get straight into this because like, low-key, low-key, low-key on you. I've low-key wanted, wanting, have been wanting to play this game. It just seems so fun. And like, I like fishing. Fishing is, fishing is cool. Fishing is cool, guys. Okay? Fishing is cool as fuck. <laughs> Why did I say that? Fishing is cool. Okay. Ooh, no, we ain't skipping shit. Job listing. Angler wanted. Hit that fog patch, bro. Why'd you hit the fog patch? It's always the fog patch. Ooh, it's so pretty. The morning light fills my eyes. You try to sit upright. Oh, wait. I said my eyes. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking on a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to the Great Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, oh, well. I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged. But I've had a few of the locals move your things to an old vessel. We'll catch up later and discuss more details. I'll let you get out there and catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I suppose I need to say... I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up, creep up on you. Oh, damn. Okay. 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 Well, yeah, that seems obvious. Oh! Wazd. Oh, yo, nice. baby look at the little baby all right stock low so i'm gonna leave that to do that i'm gonna go just yeah we're just gonna go this way crap i wasn't ready for it Oh, shit. I wasn't ready for it. That was my bad. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Alright. That one's already low, so we're gonna leave that one. Yo, you can watch the sun move on you. Oh, that is so cool, though. I don't like how slow I am. You step onto the You step onto the dock of the Great Marrow. The Marrow is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. 
Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I am more than happy to sell you that replacement vessels. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll, we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is paid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. The small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Where do I sell the fish? Our local fi fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go, then sell those fish while you're, they're still fresh. Okay, I literally just caught them. You enter a squelled shack. What the fuck? Sorry. Shack on the fringe of the marketplace. A familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Hmm. You're the nude fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He... Takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you've got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. Hmm. So let me see what you got. Oh, I'm gonna sell all the fish. Cool, thank you. Also, what's your name? Can I ask you your name? No, I cannot. The man the mayor is standing outside of the fishmonger store. Okay, this guy is kinda creepy. I don't like you. You got something up your freaking sleeve, my dude. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. What? Look here. I found this down at the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Oh, it's a research part. No, no, put that here. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Oh, yo. As you walk into the yard, you see there's shipwright, shipwright, yeah, shipwright making repairs on a dumb, on a, to a damaged hull. <laughs> she looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You mean you must be the new fisherman? I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. I love her character design. Holy shit! Oh my god! She looks like a baddie. I love her. I love her. Oh my god. Sorry. Like, Loki. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god. Yes, bitch. Mind you, I'm not in the business for doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. I can get that. Man of her trade. Oh my god. Also, if you take any damage from any rocks or any damage at all, I can match it up for you. Mostly. What do you mean, mostly? That's terrifying. She shrugs and gest gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are split and scratched. Oh, that's not good. Mm. 
Thank you. Oh my god. Let's sleep. Let's get the fuck out of here. What is the red stuff in the distance? F the mayor. I'm undocking. I think those are flounders. Yee, flounder! Look at him go, motherfucker! can probably get one more. Ooh, I didn't see the quantity it was low. Shit. Sorry. I will stop pulling fish from here. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, my boys. Can I get fish from over here? Oh, those are eels, right? <gasps> Yo! That is so cool. Holy shit. It only takes up three? What? Holy fuck. Okay. Yo, that is awesome. Alright, I'm gonna leave the eels alone. Ooh, shit. That was my bad. Oh, I'm an idiot. And I can't really turn in this bitch. I can't turn it on. Fishmonger! Oh, it's under the order. What is it? One gold founder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need, you'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow, shallow water fish. Oh, sh shallow water fish in order to catch these. The shipwright might be able to sort that out for you. Have you got any fish for that order? Yes. Just leave whatever you have here and I'll keep the order fresh. Holy shit, I have both. I didn't even realize that. Awesome! The ship, the fishmonger routes up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here, and this one's a little more curious. They want a cup of squid, a whole bl and a whole black grouper. What? What's a grouper? I've actually never known that. I don't see many people fishing squid these days. They don't. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Well, I'm gonna save my fish anyway. Here you go. Nice, nice, nice. Don't over, don't overcommit yourself, especially when the sun starts going down. Better to come back with the small fish than not come back at all. Okay, fishmonger. I'm gonna sleep. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. Like, <laughs> am I not allowed to do anything else? There's nothing here for, for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. Rude? Oh my god. You're so rude. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to light. I don't like how we call it the light. Also, the mayor wants to talk to us. 
Okay. Okay. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string, stripping slightly. That's a little creepy. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want to spoil. I don't like the mayor. I don't like the mayor. I don't like the mayor. The mayor is creepy. I don't know, the mayor's just giving me like one of those like kind of vibes right now. Like I shouldn't trust him, but it like could be okay. I don't know. It's weird right now. Is this the middle room? Yep. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels like as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, nice. And yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll sure, you surely put some use to it. Oh. Oh yeah, I get to read now. Yeah. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by a chat for- Uh, stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it could be. Okay! Weird. Ooh, these bad boys look cool as shit. So I guess you're supposed to deplete them? I don't know. You'd, you'd think that would be a bad thing, you know? To deplete, like, your supply of an area? I don't know. Oh shit, I probably don't have room for these guys. I lied, I lied, leave. Probably got room for these guys. Come on, come here. I thought it was just that medium. Shit, I didn't know it was a wool. I know why it's gone. I pay all my debt. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. That's almost true. In fact, I've granted a consent to the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is optional is operational again. I've also uh, allo allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. 
Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. This is the dry dock. We make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment, points for equipment, and even superior hulls. God. We'll need a decent stack of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, steel scraps, that sort of thing. Huh? How do you even get those? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. I can't dredge! I can't dredge yet! Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Ooh! Light, please! Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna catch all these little guys. Oh shit, I did that to myself. I literally did that to my goddamn self. Alright, let's go! I've killed off the fish population. Not really, that'd be hilarious. Yo, nice! Got a trophy fish. That's a new one. I don't. I usually don't get trophy fish. Cause I say that I've uh, I've only played this game for like an hour now. But I haven't gotten a single like one of the things yet. Oh, this one's depleted. Okay. Next. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm literally just gonna back the fuck up. Over this spot, and then I'm gonna... I got a thing that said perfect patching. Thank you. I finally get my money. Oh shit, I should have spent it on that. Fuck. I'm an idiot. On that one. Shit. It's fine, it's fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On that. I did that to myself. Yep. <laughs> Shit. Ah. I wasn't actually turning. I didn't actually turn. I just made it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you, me. Mm. Nice. Yeah, right. Let's go. You wanna know what? Let's go out, like away from here. See if I can catch anything. Hey, of course. Can I catch you? Can I catch you guys yet? No. Also, the stock is low. What has been killing you? Scary. Is it home for me? What the fuck? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. It has a face. 
Excuse me. Man, I just, I wanted a, like... I just wanted a normal fish, bro. Not a, not a monster. Like, I wanna get, I wanna get away from here. I wanna get away from here! <laughs> this is terrifying! Anyway. I got an eel. Yo! I didn't realize what time it was. I didn't realize what time it was. I did not realize what time it was at all. Oh god. Anxiety. I can't see shit. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck was up with the eyes? What was up with the eyeballs? What was up with the eyeballs? Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, no, this is the sort of spe specimen to liven up my day. Hmm. I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly al along the length of the fish. As though feeling for something, he pushes from one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately powdered handkerchief. I'm so confused. Well, I've never... Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too. Of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Thanks. A man is looking at you through the your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. <laughs> I don't like you either. I know what you took from the fishmonger. Now be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. You need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Black Isles, head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you need to hear. Me not like you. I'll be waiting. Me not like you. I don't. I don't like him. He's scary. Oh, that's just telling me where to go. Yeah, I know. Man, the sharks are having a bad day. See what this guy wants. Just to. Okay, why are we at a root? I'm. I just fell for a freaking trap. Oh. Ah! Is that Cthulhu? Is that 
with the Cthulhu book. I don't like you. Shit. I fell for a trap. The man is standing in a doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths. What? I'm so confused right now. Is this guy a bad guy? Or is he just really creepy looking right now? I'm just really confused. And curios that occupy the... Pacific. Periphery of Desire? Is that Periphery of Desire? What? My ADHD is acting up, so leave me alone. <laughs> what? Oh, so maybe he's not a bad guy. Okay, whatever. New. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering right, fl to the flickering light, and studies it. <sighs> These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief has come from an old shift I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. They're carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is providing to be a challenge. That's where you come in. What do you mean, that's where I come in? My preparation, my proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will help you dredge. Oh my god, guys, he's in the title. <laughs> let you dredge the wrecks and dark tap finding these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. Sir, I do not want whatever you are going to stick up my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> you need not give up your fishing gear. I'm, I'll merely, merely need a few hours with your vessel to make it the necessary altercations. What do you say? A couple hours. Okay. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. It is now 11.05. <laughs> the relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. Okay. I, will, I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Anything? <laughs> I want to figure out why the hell I keep getting anxiety at night. Oh wait, it's probably because I crashed. Return when you have something. Okay, but like, is it gonna tell me whenever I have something? Or am I just in the dark about all of this? Okay, so I'm starting not to like this guy. Ooh, why was there particles? Oh, okay, we might just try and beat air particles, honestly. So, yeah. What are you doing? Oh. You're terrifying. I hate you. Alright, nope, 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 that's just whenever I leave. I'm gone. Bye, adios.
There's a spot near the back of the Great Marrow where the current carries the wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see the unnatural glow rising from patches of the dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. Terrifying. I don't want to go over there. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know. You're not doing it out here. I hope, I hope, I hope you know what you're doing it out here. I thought she said, I hope you, you're not doing it out here. I'm an idiot, can't read. I see plenty of strange things that happen at the top of the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether I can trust my own eyes. She holds up the lant lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. <laughs> Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is it just another of the fog's tricks? I've been asking you questions. Of course it's me. Builder, what's up? You approach a woman sitting on the dark side, staring out to sea, and she turns to you. What's it like out there? Really? Honestly? If stuff wasn't coming after me, peaceful. Oh! Oh, she's got a- Oh, oh, okay. Got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away from away for a while. Maybe not to come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. I can't go back. My boat's gone. She's ga she gazes out to sea, lost in thought. Say, if you f find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just stack it up at Steel Point whenever you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Okay. She's cool. I'm sorry I gave her an accent, but she has an accent. You can totally tell. Okay, weird. I got a bottle. I don't know why I got so close to it just to inspect it. I'm an idiot. I really don't. I think I'm an idiot. Oh, look at my little light. I have a little light. I'm so proud of myself. I have a light. Honestly, I don't know why I'm proud of myself, but I have a light.
Ooh, wait. F dredge. Ooh, that's kind of fun. What the f <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> he looks like something that you would see out of um, a fucking what? Are, what are those movies called? Oh yeah! I almost hit this side. Um, 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 like Cybertron or something like that. I regret. I have so many regrets. I have so many regrets. Okay, so that's more squid. But I don't want squid. I want the other one. Oh shit. Oh, fuck! 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 Shit, fuck! Ball sacks! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! No! I want to be faster! I lied. I lied whenever I said I wanted the other fish. I'm cool with what I have. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Oh my god. He was coming straight at me. He was coming straight for me. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. So I need to I need to tap. Okay. August 20th, 19. 27. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon. And our first day proper. Today we'll, we're sailing around the islands and inlets of the, at the back of the Great Marrow. I love the rocks here. The, la the layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in the shallows, so I know people will keep the sands of the whales to the wells. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took the more serious... I, took, I think he took that more serious than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to, de to perform it correctly. At least you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw everything away. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean Riches was a good name. But I kept the keychain. Ocean, Ocean Riches was a good name. I think he was prepared, he has prepared a special picnic lunch. I can see the basket ha half hidden stuffed under a blanket in the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Huh. That's actually kind of cute. 
August 21st, 1927. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows of the gr- at the back of the Greater Mirror. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, it just jostled us around a few times, fell o- and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, so, which is some, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Weird. Weird because that literally happened to me while I stayed out last night. I've been catching enough of those. How do you get research parts again? I forget. Oh shit. Shit! Shit! I'm looking for patterns and I can't find them. Shit! I'm looking for patterns and I can't find them. My brain's telling me. Yo, there's a rock over here. What the fuck? A slab of rock jets out of the water. I'm so confused right now. What do I do with that? What do I do with that? That is so weird. I'll do something about that later, I guess. Fishmonger, I have an eel for you. Here you go. It's still fresh. Yeah. It's still fresh. I'm on day nine. I haven't really made much progress, but I've made more than I thought I would. So. Alright, everybody. So, that is Dredge for this part. Um, I have been playing for like a very long ass time. Um, but yeah, so, I hope you liked it. I actually kind of liked doing some of the voices. <laughs> it was actually a lot more fun than I thought. Um, and hopefully next time I can explore some more and maybe get some research parts so I can actually do stuff. Because that was my fault that I didn't get the, the first one. <laughs> That was me being an idiot. So, yeah. Alright, guys. I will see you guys on the other side. Bye!